Last year in 2022, I listed a 2015 Hyundai Elantra GT on the Gitaram platform after almost exclusively being on Turo for over five years. And this month, almost exactly one year after joining Gitaround, I've decided to quit the platform. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down why. So let's get started. Now I have now on two separate occasions tried out the Gitaround platform. The first time was back in 2021 and it was with the 2007 Scion that I purchased in the summer, had it listed on Gitaround for six months and because of poor performance, I actually ended up taking this car off Get Around and selling the car entirely. Then about eight months after that, in the summer of 2022, I was approached by Get Around and I was asked if I would be interested in joining the Get Around platform again. After a lot of back and forth and consideration, I decided that I would give Get Around one more try and I decided to buy a 2015 Hyundai Elantra GT to list on the platform in the summer of 2022. The main reason why I decided to give Get Around another try was because while Get Around has been around for a long time, they had only recently joined the Dallas market back in 2021. And I felt that maybe because the Dallas market was more mature in 2022, it would be a good and worthwhile experiment to try to list one more car to see how it went. And so that is exactly what I did. And around this time last year, I purchased a 2015 Hyundai Luncher GT, which has been listed out on the Get Around platform for exactly a year. And over the last couple of months, I actually even expanded my get around fleet. I added a 2007 Lexus ES350. It was sort of a gamble play. I purchased this car from my neighbor and I was curious to see how it would do on get around. And I knew that in the back of my mind, if this car didn't work out, I could simply flip it for a profit. So over the last couple of months, I've actually had two cars on the get around platform. And as I'm recording this video today, I am taking them both off. I will be putting my 2015 Hyundai Elantra GT on Turo and I will be selling the Lexus entirely. But to really explain why I'm leaving Get Around, I first need to explain what I did and did not like about the Get Around platform. So as I mentioned a few moments ago, recently I had two cars on Get Around, my Lexus and my Hyundai, but I actually started off with my Hyundai, which was listed around this time last year. For the first about eight months of this car being on the Get Around platform, it did extremely well. It was consistently a top performer. In fact, a number of months, it was my number one performer by quite a high margin. In fact, in February of 2023, so just a few months ago, my Hyundai Elantra made $2,300 profit in one single month, which is crazy. And this of course brings me to one of my favorite points about Get Around, which is that income potential whenever things are going well. Whenever things are going well with Get Around, you can make a lot of money. In fact, I would argue that you can make quite a bit more than you can make on Turo. Get Around has a different clientele and as a result, the cars are much more expensive and the business model for Get Around is just quite a bit different. You see, Get Around has a pretty different clientele in Turo. They're targeting those gig workers. So as a host, you have the ability to make a lot of money from these people. People that are wanting to rent your car on an hourly basis, a daily basis, or a weekly basis. And regardless of which path they choose to rent your car, they're going to be paying a premium for that. In some cases, people may pay $10 or $12 an hour to rent, or in other cases, they may pay $70, $80 per day. In fact, my 2015 Hyundai Elantra GT was consistently being rented for anywhere between $65 and $85 per day, depending on the time of the year. Because of this high price tag with Get Around, you do have a lower utilization, so your car may only be utilized 60 or 70% of the time, but you're able to make just as much, if more, than your Turo cars because they're getting a much higher daily rate. This is of course sort of a double-edged sword because it does mean that your car is sitting much, much longer, so you have to worry about storage, but it is of course a big benefit because you're getting more money for less wear and tear. The high price tag for Get Around Rentals is one of my favorite things about the Get Around platform, but it's also one of my least favorites as well, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, I want to address the claims process, which is actually one of the pros of Get Around as a whole. Get Around claims are very, very easy to deal with. They're fast, they're fair, and you don't have to pay a deductible, which is a huge bonus. Over the last year, I had two fairly major claims with Get Around. Both were paid out within a month. They paid out a pretty good amount and I had to pay no deductible at all versus Turo where I have to pay a $750 deductible. The fact that Get Around doesn't charge a deductible while Turo does, it's a big win. Overall, in my experience with Get Around with their claims process, they were pretty good to deal with and they were fair on their payouts. And that is a huge plus. Now I know that you do hear some horror stories online whenever it comes to Get Around claims. And I can't speak to those types of experiences. I can only speak to what I experienced myself. And and I can say from experience that I was pretty impressed with Get Around Claims. And each time my car was damaged, I did feel like I was taken care of. Those are by far my two favorite things about Get Around, but there are of course other cons that have ultimately led to my decision to leave the platform altogether. 
Like I mentioned earlier, whenever I first joined Get Around, my cart was doing extremely well. And from summer of 2022 till about February or March, 2023, my cart was performing extremely strong. In fact, my Hyundai Elantra GT was out on a two and a half month long rental from January until mid-March. And this renter was consistently paying anywhere between $1,500 and $25 per month for my car. During this period of time was when I made the decision to buy the Lexus and add that on Get Around as well, which proved to be a big mistake. Because once my Hyundai Elantra GT was back from this long term rental, my renters completely dried up. And over the last two and a half months, since the middle of March, my cars have only gone out on two rentals. The Lexus ES350 went out on a one one hour rental and the Hyundai Elantra GT went on one rental for a few days. Yeah, you heard that right. Two rentals over the course of two and a half months. All the while, my Turo cars are getting rented out every single day consistently. And it's pretty rare to have a car sit for more than 24 hours, but it's oftentimes rare for cars to even sit for more than 12 hours. And it's been really frustrating for me to watch my get around cars sit at my lot day after day and week after week with really nothing that I can do on my end in order to stir up demand. Because get around doesn't allow for their hosts to adjust their pricing. And I even called get around to ask them if I could in fact lower my pricing in order to stir up demand. And they simply told me that pricing was determined by an algorithm and there was no real way to edit this. And what makes this situation even more frustrating is that get around is constantly running new promotions to get new hosts on their platform. In fact, they're running one right now to try to get hosts from Turo to Get Around. I feel as though Get Around has put far too much of an emphasis on recruiting hosts. I understand why they did this in the beginning, especially in new markets, but now that the brand has matured and they have enough hosts on their platform, they really need to find enough guests to rent out all of these cars because there are simply so many cars sitting. And the fact that hosts like myself who want to stir up demand for their cars aren't able to make any adjustments in order to accomplish that, well, that's a big problem. And it's definitely something that has left a bad taste in my mouth. And for me to be able to contact customer support and to ask how I can lower my pricing and for them to simply put their hands up and say, yeah, we can't do that, it's extremely frustrating. And on that exact same topic is the topic of customer support. And this is an area that Turo has actually been improving on quite dramatically over the last few years. With Turo, there are multiple means of communications for you and anyone from Turo. You have customer support chat, phone line, email, and PowerHost even have a designated PowerHost support rep. This is extremely helpful and it's something I really appreciate. With Get Around, you don't have these exact same resources. While you do have a chat, email, and a phone feature, none of them are full of really knowledgeable representatives, and as a result, you never really get somebody that can answer all of your questions. And whenever you have a major issue, which doesn't come up often, it can be a huge pain to resolve. And this has become particularly frustrating over the last couple of weeks as I've been wanting to leave the Get Around platform. Because with Get Around, you have something called a Get Around Connect device installed in your cars. This is a ignition disabler, it also is a tracker, and it's hardwired into your car. And in order to do this, you have to schedule a time with Get Around, you have to go to a service center, and it is this whole thing that can be extremely time consuming. Another concerning trend with Get Around is the acquisition of Hire Car. And while this wasn't a deciding factor in my decision to leave Get Around, because it was actually announced after I made my decision, I do think it's something that should concern any Get Around host. Get Around recently announced that they were acquiring Hire Car, which is a peer to peer car sharing platform. The way that I view it is that Turo is the best car sharing platform, then Get Around, then like far below Get Around is Hire Car. Hire Car has been around for quite a while, but they have a very sketchy reputation and I personally have never heard anything good about the company and Get Around just acquired them. In my opinion, I think that this is a little bit concerning because I do think that Get Around has enough issues that they need to work through themselves and they shouldn't be acquiring the ugly duckling of the car sharing community. And I personally would have loved to see Get Around use their resources in order to improve their current platform, not use it in order to acquire a different one. And while the hire car acquisition didn't have an initial impact on my decision to leave Get Around, it did solidify my decision overall. I believe that Get Around's biggest problem is that they simply don't have enough guests to rent the car that hosts have listed on the platform. And it doesn't seem as though Get Around has a focus on marketing to these people. And that's a major problem. And it becomes a big problem for me whenever I have 25 cars in my fleet, all of them are getting rented out consistently, except for my two cars that are listed on Get Around. And to know that my Turo cars are making money each and every month while my Get Around cars just simply sit there, it's a problem and it's something that I no longer want to take part in. Now, I'm not going to say that I will never give Get Around another try again in the future because who knows, maybe they'll change the platform, maybe they'll pivot their marketing focus, and maybe at that time it would be worth joining. But for the time being, I'm going to be selling my Lexus ES350 and I'm going to be listing my Hyundai Elantra GT on Turo and it should be done within the next week or so. But I wanted to make this video because I know that the topic of joining Get Around from 
Turo is something that a lot of hosts discuss. And I would just caution anybody who wants to join Get Around to make sure that you do your due diligence and understand what the demand is like in your market. Because while some markets are extremely profitable for Get Around, others aren't, and you should make sure where your market lies. And I know that for me in Dallas, there just simply isn't the demand that there needs to be in order to justify me staying. But like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.